Dr. Osborne here with Web Wellness University, and today I want to tackle uh, the big question that always comes in about oats. First of all, are oats gluten-free? And this question, there is a lot of debate. Technically, oats are not gluten-free. There's a particular type of gluten in oats called avenin, A-V-E-N-I-N. Now, some research studies show that people with celiac disease can tolerate avenin okay, and many research studies show that people cannot tolerate it. So as we go back to should you or should you not eat oats, my advice is definitely against, and here are several reasons why. There have been a number of research studies published since 2011 that show that the proteins in oats incite inflammation in different ways. Interferon gamma production, TNF alpha production are two of them. Some studies show that the avenin protein is so similar to gluten found in wheat that it also causes an inflammatory response. So if you're on the fence about oats, remember that there are many studies that show oats do cause an inflammatory response. And keeping in mind that up to 92% of people going on a traditional gluten-free diet, meaning they avoid wheat, barley, and rye only, but continue to eat oats, rice, and corn, these people tend to have persistent inflammation. They tend to go on to develop multiple forms of autoimmune disease. So that being said, we know that the gluten in grains is one of the primary reasons autoimmune disease exists in our society today. So my advice is definitely avoid the oats. Now, if you continue to scroll down, you can read more about those research studies here and call your own shots and make your own opinion about it. But I would encourage you not to grade whether or not you avoid oats based on a physical reaction to them. Remember, some of these inflammatory responses caused by grains are delayed in nature, meaning they don't cause an acute reaction. Your lips don't swell, your skin doesn't break out in hives, your throat doesn't constrict. They just cause a chronic low-grade persistent inflammation. So again, read the research below, form your own opinion, but my advice is keep the oats out of your diet if you want to fully recover. Hopefully this was helpful for you. This is Dr. Osborne with Web Wellness University. Have a great day.